The imperfect is a tense that is used in the past to convey something that happened over a longer period of time. In English, I guess the best translations would be used to do something as far as habitual or was doing something ongoing. So unlike the preterite, it goes, it happens over a longer period of time, but it is in the past tense. And it's called the imperfecto in Espanol. And this tense is much easier to form than the preterito. It's actually the easiest tense in the entire language because it has only three irregular verbs. You heard me, three. So today we're gonna go over how to form it, both the regular and irregular. So for regular verbs, you take off the ending. So for AR, you take off the AR and you add the following endings. Aba, abas, aba, abamos, abais, aban. So only an accent in the nosotros form. And this is only for AR verbs. You take off the AR. So if we were going to use the verb hablar to speak, it would be, and repeat after me, so you take off the AR, you add the endings. Repite, yo hablaba. Tú hablabas. Él hablaba. Nosotros hablábamos. Vosotros hablabais. Ellos hablaban. And that goes for all AR verbs. You just take off the AR and you add the endings. Same, it's the same concept with ER and IR verbs, but different endings. And like the preterite, they share the same endings. And the endings are very different, and all of them have an accent on the first vowel, which is an I. So the endings are ia, ias, ia, iamos, iais, ia. So if we take the verb, hmm, let me think of an er, ir verb, uh, comer. So comer, we would take off the er. And it would be, repite, yo comía. Tú comías. Él comía. Nosotros comíamos. Vosotros comíais. Ellos comían. And it's the same thing with IR verbs. We're going to try one just to go over it. Uh, one verb that we could use in the imperfecto quite often could be escribir, to write. Así que repite. Yo, again, same endings. Yo escribía. Tú escribías. Él escribía. Nosotros escribíamos. Vosotros escribíais. Ellos escribían. And that is how you conjugate regular verbs in the imperfecto. Couple things to note. The yo and the el, ella, usted forms, both in AR verbs and ER, IR, have the same endings. So, aba and aba, ia, ia. 
that's when you should use subject pronouns to distinguish who the speaker is. I use them in these videos for just to learn and connect the endings and the conjugations with the subject pronouns. Subject pronouns are obviously, they're optional in Spanish, but when you are using an ending that is the same of another subject pronoun, it's always good to add the yo, the el, the ella, or usted, just for those. All the other ones, they have their own endings and therefore you could tell what the subject pronoun is. Another thing to add is, although we didn't do any stem changing verbs, all stem changing verbs are regular. You do not stem change in the imperfecto. So if we were to take, for example, volver, yo volvía. I was returning home or I used to return home at whatever time. Uh, let me think of another one. Entender. Yes, I used to understand this. Yo entendía. If we take an AR verb, empezar empezaba yo empezaba so there's absolutely no stem changing with any of the verbs which is great that makes it easier now there are three regular verbs and they are they just conjugate the way they do the first two have more of a pattern the third does not and the first one is ver to see now ver the only thing that makes it irregular is you normally take the off the er but it maintains the E in all of the conjugations. Mm -hmm. So to say, I used to see, or I was going to see, it's yo veía. So let's practice this verb. Repeat after me. Yo veía. Tú veías. El veía. Actually, we're going to do ella for the next few. I feel like that has been uh, underrepresented. Ella veía. Nosotros veíamos. Vosotros veíais. Ellas veían. And it's important to use the feminine subject pronouns. Although ellos is a little more common because if you have a mix of men and women, it's always going to be ellos. But it's important to show all the other subject pronouns and show that the verb doesn't change. If you use ellos or ellas, it doesn't matter. The ending for ER verbs is eon. And with ved, as you see, you see the E in all of the endings. Um, well, the E and then all the regular endings are regular. So the only thing that's irregular about it is that you maintain the E. So you only take off the R, not the ER. Now, the next verb is ir, and ir is to go. That takes AR endings, but starting with an I. So instead of aba, abas, aba, it's iba, ibas, iba. So let's try this out. Repite, yo iba. Tú ibas. Ella iba. Nosotros íbamos. Vosotros ibais. Ellas iban. And just like AR endings, the only form that has a, an accent is a nosotros, íbamos. Just like for AR endings, it's abamos. So again, it's AR endings, but starting with an I instead of an A. And that's ir. Now, unlike the preterito, ir and ser are two totally separate verbs, just like all the other tenses. And ser is the one that's totally irregular don't even know how to explain it to you so you just memorize and this is how you do how you conjugate said in the imperfecto repite yo era it's different right yo era tu eras ella era nosotros Eramos. Vosotros erais. Ellas eran.
And those are the three regular verbs. They're ver, uh, ir, and ser. The regular ones, there's no stem changing. You take off the AR, add aba, abas, aba, abamos, abais, aban. And for ER, IR verbs, ia, ias, ia, iamos, iais, and ian, all accents on the I, the first I. For more information, if you want to learn more about this, go to makingspanishsimple.com, subscribe today. It has access to all of my social media, including uh, sites to what to watch, what to read every month for literature, good shows and movies on streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime. And it has posts about other grammar, vocab, slang. It has a lot of things on there, such as on Instagram, visual posts, if you're watching this on YouTube and on if you are watching us on Instagram, it has playlists on YouTube where you can quick quicken the videos up if these are too slow or make them slower. And finally, let's practice the imperfecto in the comments. Um, ¿Qué hacías cuando eras joven? What did you used to do when you were young? ¿Qué hacías cuando eras joven? Por ejemplo, cuando yo era joven, era niña, Yo viajaba mucho con mi familia. Viajaba mucho con mi familia. I used to travel a lot with my family. Cuando yo era joven, cuando era niña, viajaba mucho con mi familia y pasaba mucho tiempo con ellos. That is how you form it, okay? Viajaba mucho, I used to travel a lot, y pasaba mucho tiempo con mi familia. And try it out in the comments below. Uh, what you used to do, que hacías cuando eras joven o cuando eras niño o niña. And like I said, go to makingspanishlip.com and subscribe today.